would you consider yourself a compassionate person, someone who cares, or could put someone yourself into someone else's shoes? Why am I asking? Because this week we are reflecting on the character of Tiferet, which represents the idea of compassion. You know, we're now in between Passover and Shavuot, in the time of the counting of the Omer. When the Jews left Egypt, they were told that in 50 days they're going to get the Torah on Mount Sinai. And they started counting down to this great revelation of Sinai. We too, after Passover, start counting. We're told that every day should be counted. Today is day one, today is day two, to the Omer, today is day three, and so on. And we have just completed week three. Our Kabbalists explain that each one of us has seven primary emotions. Each one is made of another seven, a total of 49. Every week we reflect on one of those emotions to see how we're doing, we check in. And we're primarily to think about our kindness, our discipline, our compassion, our perseverance, our humility, our connections, and our royalty, our action. Are they self-centered? Are they self-motivated? Do we care about others? Is it, are we self-centered? Is our discipline focused on ourselves while our com love and compassion are others? Or sometimes are we more disciplined to others while we are more forgiving for ourselves? Every day we think about it, every day we count the Omer, and every week we reflect on one general count, one general character. We're going from compassion to ferret to perseverance. How do I persevere? How do we continue doing things even when we're not in the greatest mood, we're not really right for it? It's coming up also is Lagba Omer. In between Passover and Shavuot, we also have Lagba Omer, which is the 33rd day of the counting of the Omer. This is a time when the day when Rabbi Shimon Ben Yochai, a great second century mystic, passed away in Israel, and it's a great celebration because he fulfilled his life mission. We're going to have a barbecue, May 9th, Tuesday, and we invite you to come celebrate with us. Meanwhile, keep counting the Omer, find out more about how we're doing, be more compassionate, let's be more considerate, persevering, doing things that even though we're not in a mood, we do it because we know it's right. And may we have a great counting of the Omer, a transformative counting of the Omer. Shabbat Shalom.